Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is Her Stars Aligned and I'm gonna be doing an energy spread for you guys. So with this pre-read that I wanna let you know about, it wasn't much that I picked up on but for the energies that I did get in my spirit, I did see that someone's being petty, okay? Someone could be sexually inexperienced, someone could um, not have had a lot of sexual partners or don't have enough experience to have the full experience in that, you know what I mean? So, um, that's that on that. I also got a location that I never thought I would. A particular location in which I've never said on my channel and it's Orange County. What's going on up in Orange County? I don't know if this is going to be a new subscriber or someone used to live there or what's happening up in Orange County. The OC was what I got first, but I got the location as Orange County, okay? I don't know what's going on up there, but um, everybody stay safe. So let me just get a spiritual element or animal to start out with for Virgo in this energy read. Okay, so we have Nurture. We have uh, Eastern Cottontail. What role is mothering energy playing in my life? Okay, the overall energy is reflect the great blue heron. What does, what does standing still reveal? Okay, remember that poised energy y'all were getting a couple weeks ago? Just being humble. Let's get the Eastern Cottontail energy. So it says, at any time, each of us can access the universal divine mother flow that supports, cherishes, and creates. So there's something that you're nurturing or um, finding growth in. This could be career. This could be um, a personal situation. Uh, this could be a interpersonal thing between two people or two things that you could be juggling here. We're gonna get the great blue heron. Let's see. Okay, so it says insights reveal themselves in their own time and at their own pace. The great blue heron says sometimes we must stop moving and let them find their way to us. So someone maybe wants to tell you about uh, them being a mother or father. Someone may become a parent. Someone may be um, wanting to tell you about their experience that they've learned someone's going through learning a valuable lesson but they had to realize that pettiness wasn't going to get them anywhere okay well since we have nurture let's see what spiritual guide we need at this time or that is helping us along the way what do we have for my beautiful lovely virgos so there could be something significant about the color purple we have the number 16, one plus six is seven. So this is all about creativity. With Archangel Metatron, I see you guys are finding strength in your spiritual power. I'm getting esoteric wisdom, sacred geometry. At the bottom of the deck, we have Archangel Ariel. So there's something about the number six, some type of stability structure within your environment some of you are coming into this prosperous abundant energy but this is the guardian of the earth all right so yeah there's something about the color purple because look in all these pictures has some element of purple okay i'm gonna go ahead and look that up actually
let's see if that is your aura color. I didn't pick up on any purple aura colors yet. If you guys haven't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so. Okay, I do have another channel where I do uh, different type of element reads and sometimes I will give like a prophetic message or a reading. Sometimes I will give out free readings. So just be sure to check out my other channel and subscribe as well. That is one of my new channels here. I just felt like I needed to start something fresh and that's exactly what I did. It was time for a change and when spirit tells me to do something, I need to go ahead and do it because maybe there's a deeper reasoning. Okay, so the aura color purple. Okay, so overall, purple auras are strongly associated with intuition, psychic abilities, and connection to the spiritual realm. So your spiritual guides are definitely um, teaching you something here. There's something that you are building as sacred. All right. I'm hearing some people won't understand. Okay, we have the sun. Someone could be dealing with a Leo here. We have the creation of, the gaining of respect for or from, things brought to life or light. So I feel like your spiritual ancestors or the source, your source, whatever that may be for you, I'm getting here that they're helping you to get some type of answers that someone could be bringing towards you or maybe you are needing, you're searching for some answers here. We have beliefs in Taurus, the cost of, use the most direct way and so Leo and Taurus are in this energy field. I'm getting Aries energy off of this card. I don't know um, if that's a thing here, but that's what I'm seeing. Oh, look, we have the broom card. Someone is going to step into having a new home. Someone's about to move. We've been getting this for quite some time, okay? Success assured with good plans and hard work. I see you guys moving, okay? Spirit is granting you whatever it is that you've manifested. You're getting that opportunity to move. Here's the key at the bottom of the deck. You're even going to be able to travel. Some of you could be moving out of the country here. But here you go, Virgo. You're about to be crowned. You're about to be crowned here. Honor and respect will come to you. Successful outcomes to your problem. Some of you could have been having issues surrounding a home, your environment. <laughs> that is so funny because look, we have the number 16. Remember I said the number six was stability. We had number 16 with Archangel Metatron and the number six. So something within your environment is changing and right down there says abundance. Wow, amazing, amazing energy. Amazing energy, Virgos. Okay, so we have goldfish. There's gonna be an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I think this is happening in both areas of your life here. When it comes to your ability, you need to trust your intuition. And we have unsuccessful plans. Beware of greed. There could be changes going on in your life. Time to have fun. But I see your finances skyrocketing here. You're going to experience a lot of change, Virgo. have in this energy spread for Virgo so I see inner strength and can't compare where they don't can't compete where they don't compare so some of you are requiring inner strength to understand that if you know who you are no one can take that away from you it's only up from here they can't compete where they don't compare they're not on the same level as you okay and it's not that you're gloating, but you're needing to understand this about yourself. Someone could have like, um, 
Someone could have a low self-esteem, not really believing in themselves. Someone here finds themselves erasing messages, okay? Someone's putting something on hold because they could be finding out about a pregnancy or someone being pregnant. Exactly, exactly. Someone could have slept with a virgin or someone that was sexually inexperienced and got pregnant here, okay? Or someone could have slept with someone maybe a handful of times and this person got pregnant. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. This is someone that they were living with or that they were rooming with here. Wow. Someone has been doing a lot of self-reflecting. Someone's reached their breaking point. Someone could be lying to you. Or you're lying to someone here. We have projection. Some of you are not allowing a certain person that is codependent to project their energy onto you because it doesn't help you grow. Someone may have backpedaled from a lifestyle where they leveled up, but now um, someone has downgraded. We have copycat. Yeah, someone here is definitely doing their own thing. They don't feel like they have to copy anyone. They're, they're original. You're being original here. Some of you are trying to forget about something that might have been significant about New Year's. Someone here doesn't want to close out a situation here. Someone's trying to rekindle something. Whatever evil eye they're trying to send on you, it's not affecting you here, okay? Some of you are realizing that something here isn't meant to be, all right? what else we have for Virgo Sun Moon Venus rising North node so we have the number 19 9 first suffering in silence that's kind of like hermit mode someone's in their own element not really bothered someone could be single focusing on themselves and their light someone is a light worker Someone here just only wants the best for people, to see the best out of people. I feel like your energy is so good that it keeps other people wanting to do better in their life. Okay? I'm hearing that someone is taking charge. Let's see what else we have. We have the number three, heartache and loss. Yeah, for some of you here, something was significant about New Year's that you're trying to forget about because it causes a lot of heartache and loss and prevents you from moving forward. But you know your worth. You understand who you are and what you come with and what you bring to the table here. Yeah, but some of you find it hard to move forward or you're impatient about your forward movement into a new chapter. So you're in your head about it here, but spirit is here to help you so that love can come in, okay? The next person that you're with, you're going to build some type of spiritual connection or um, an instant spir spiritual connection here, okay? I see that your finances are about to go up here. Financial and material wealth. What else do we have for Virgo, please? What is in Virgo's current energy? What is it that Virgo would like to know? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings. If you want a personal and you're interested, you like the way I read, I have slots open for your own personal reading. I do have a sale going on. Just reach out to me via email. We have responsibilities. So if you are in a situation or you were, whatever your, your thing is, there's some type of red flag about something being put on hold, okay? Someone's duty or 
whatever they felt like they had to deal with, they had to disconnect from the connection um, with you. But someone is coming in to have some type of honest communication about why they had to do this. It's like someone had a personal evolution. This Eastern Cottontail, someone knew that they had to come back to let you know what happened and they had to set themselves free from something here before coming back towards you, okay? Someone's waiting on divine timing to tell you all of this. We have forgiveness here. So it says, allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. All right? And we have third party. So you may be dealing with a karmic situation. Yeah, some of you were caught up in a karmic situation, whether divine masculine, feminine here. Yep. This person is looking to reach out to you because they see that you know who you are and they're realizing who the fuck you are. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have rekindle. So an old flame returns. This is what they want to do. They want to come back towards you. They've had time to reflect. This is them and this is you. They see how nurturing that you were, who you were to them. And now they want to come back with their long ass fucking tongue, their long ass beak, wanted to sit down and talk to you about what? They should have had that energy when you were trying to settle, the, settle things with them. And they didn't want to do that. So why not? You've changed. The situation has changed. You're over it. I'm hearing that it was even a hard pill to swallow to forgive, but it's something that you had to do in order to let go of any envious energies, but to heal within self so that you can move forward. There's nothing worse than holding on to a grudge or envious energy towards a person because then they win. Let it go, let it flow, let it ride, let it slide. We have wealthy men, number 13, one plus three is four. So someone's all about stability and structure when it comes to their finances, okay? I see a pathway of, of sudden wealth, okay? I feel like the ones that were mean to you have their hand out now trying to ask for money or trying to ask you to uh, go half and half on certain things, okay? We have occupation 34. Someone could be 34 here. Someone could have been worked somewhere for over seven years, seven plus years. I'm getting here within seven years. Someone has had good luck in that time frame to become successful, okay, in their career. I do see a uh, courtship, you getting involved with someone, but this is someone that didn't hold you to high regard or someone here that you may not have been fond of. This is someone that may have been kicked out of a home and could over time maintain some type of bad wealth. You may be dismissing this person here. Just be careful. Because when we have bad health, baby, that ain't, that ain't right. I'm hearing that's not for you, like over and over. It's not for you. So we have a house. Someone may be trying to give you a gift at your home, but you may have moved, your address has changed, or maybe you just don't wanna answer. This person's in their head about it, or maybe you're thinking of someone here. But you've grown into the mature woman, okay? You're just all about your bag. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the tarot. Let's see what we got here. For Virgo, 
what's in Virgo's current energy for Virgo Sun Moon Venus rising north node for Virgo please okay so we have the nine of wands to the side this is fire energy some of you could be dealing with a fire sign or they have fire sign in their chart so nine of wands tells me that someone's either very passionate or in this hateful energy someone has some type of deep emotion towards something here nine of wands Someone here may be redirected or shown the way somewhere. Someone may be very scared to do something. Yeah, someone's scared to tell you that they love you. Or you loving them. Knight of Cups. Someone wants to offer you something, but they're afraid. So this could be a water sign. This, I'm getting two energies. We got uh, the lover's card, Gemini energy, or nine of cups is fire. Uh, not fire, water, I'm sorry. Someone's getting real antsy though. I'm hearing either way it goes, this person wants to reveal how they feel about you. If it changes something, then it does. If it doesn't, they just want you to know, point blank, period. But someone could have been in a petty energy. We have the Eight of Cups. Someone no longer wants to leave. Someone here is avoiding something. I'm hearing something about resentment. Someone's afraid that they may have been resented. Eight of Cups. In reverse, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, someone sees a devalue in not being around you, not being a part of your life. Someone is refusing to let, let go of Anything that's on their mind, someone is, is afraid to trust, to fall. Someone could be going through a loss in their finances, in their uh, career. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is jealous because you have it all. And someone's starting to realize that this is their karma with the judgment card here. Okay? What's this Queen of Pentacles? We have the Chariot and the Death card. So Scorpio, Cancer energy. Okay? Someone here doesn't want to make a move, but they do know that they want to have a rebirth with you. Yeah, someone is very highly attracted to you. Someone feels like you guys are destined, meant to be. Yeah, this person is in contemplation over you. What else do we have for Virgo's current energy, please? Okay, so we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Someone here is going to try to slowly approach you, not to bombard you, but to, you know, try to, uh, you know, kind of walk slow towards you to see what your temperature is because they're not really sure how you're going to react if they try to come back towards you. They don't really know how you feel. We have the King of Cups in reverse. Some of you may be just over it. Someone no longer has those feelings, okay? For some of you here, someone's tired of a certain type of lifestyle, so much so that they left this person behind. This could have been an air sign here. Yeah, someone could have lied and manipulated, tricked someone into being with them here so that, you know, they can have everything that 
you always dreamed about wanting with this person, but you're not mad. It was just you learning a lesson here. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Someone here could be ignoring some type of message or the energy that I got here, someone was erasing messages that they would like to send you. Someone doesn't feel good enough for you even though they're trying to get over situations and focus on themselves at this point in time. All right, someone wouldn't mind catching up with you, going to lunch with you. I just heard luncheon or brunch. Grabbing a coffee here. But well, someone wants to start off small, but they feel like you may leave them behind or that you have left them behind. Someone could be deemed as toxic here or something within a situation is toxic, which is why there's no communication or a lack thereof. Yeah, we have the Empress here. Someone could tell you that they're not talking to a baby's mother or baby's father here because there's just too much baggage in that situation someone's uh mere focusing on themselves trying to learn grow thrive yeah someone has had a tower moment um just dealing with different women different men but i see here that someone was dating around and they kind of felt stuck within themselves embarking on these different relationships here I'm hearing something about play. Someone was played. Someone that thought that they were better at the game than you were. Okay, but the joke's on them here is what I'm getting. So I'm getting Queen of Swords. Are you about to tell someone off? Or are they? I'm getting an angry energy or someone here is blocking themselves, putting up a wall by um, having a harder exterior on the outside to a pentacles in reverse, the king of swords in reverse and the three of wands. I'm getting here that this there's a situation that's just way too much for right now and someone didn't take the time out to make the right decision. So someone is moving forward justice here. Yeah, someone's deciding to um, reclaim their victory and finding love elsewhere. But for right now, they're focused on something else. This could be you here. Okay. Let's see what your person wants to tell you, Virgo. I want you. I hide behind material things. We both know I am not the one for you. You were the best thing in my life. So I think that this person just feels guilty about a lot of things that they've done. And now that they've learned and seen how much it hurts to be without you or not a part of your journey, they want to tell you how they feel here. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so I'm getting here. Forgiveness is needed in order to expand, to recover. Some of you may need to work on restoring your faith, which I think that you guys are doing right now. We have perfection and impartiality. Some of you are trying to focus on being intuitive and insightful so that you can persevere but you're also focusing on completing a cycle okay that someone definitely doesn't want to go away so let's go ahead and clarify why impartiality is here for this third position in your reading holy spirit please clarify impartiality for Virgo, why is impartiality in there? Ooh, okay, the high priestess. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Wheel. Oh my goodness. So there's a part of you, Virgo, that still feels like this person has control of 
okay? And it seems like whenever you try to pull forward, you can feel that this person tries to bring you back into their energy field, okay? But there's good things coming in for you, Virgo, is what I'm seeing. You're going to become the king of pentacles, all right? And that's why they can't let you go, because you hold the keys to the streets, you hold the keys to the streets and they want that. What's this high priestess in reverse? Someone now feels incomplete after having so much time to reflect here. Six of cups, the strength card, and the five of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. So yeah, someone was repetitive in making the same mistakes until they've realized here. So yeah. Someone here is really going through it in haunting memories that you two share. This could be a friend, a lover, what have you. But now that they see you moving forward, I think that this reflecting and rekindling and wanting to reach out is just out of desperation. It scares them to know that the one person that they pushed away was someone that, <laughs> I can't make this up, <laughs> the one person that they pushed away is someone that they so desperately need in their life. I'm hearing that song by Fantasia. The truth is, I never got over you. Wish I was standing in her shoes Everything that's said and done Cause I'm still in love with you Truth is I never should have let you go And now it's killing me Cause now I know That everything that's said and done Cause I'm still in love with you Oh my gosh yeah, that's what I'm hearing. What's this page of swords in reverse? Yeah, this person is seeing you as the star. Two of wands here. Six of wands, five of pentacles. Yeah, this person now feels left out in the cold by you when this is exactly how they made you feel and it wasn't your intention, but it was something that you had to do. All right. Look, we have male karmic energy. So this person was a karmic. Some of you are dealing with a male karmic Number 80. Yeah, this person may have experienced childhood trauma. I've seen mugged, late night phone calls, video. Someone thought that you were perfect, perfectly imperfect for them. Okay, so yeah, we have reliability. You were someone that they can depend on. Okay, someone feels caught in the middle. Someone could have been involved in a same-sex relationship or some of you could be um, in a same-sex relationship here. Some of you are going to be surprised about the updates or upgrades that you're about to make, including this new home, Virgo. Stay focused is what I just seen. Let's get some spiritual messages and then get our asses out of here. All right, whoever this karmic was, they hid their truth from you and they're now praying for you. You are a part of their hope. We have calling back your power. This person may want to give you a gift as a peace offering. There's unbelievable series of events here. Um, I don't think I have the right cards that I want to use so I'm going to have to improvise I'm just going to use these 
for right now. Unbelievable series of events. What is this about, Holy Spirit? Unbelievable series of events. What is it that we need to know? What are these unbelievable series of events here? Okay, six of wands. Someone feels like they need to overcome something or prove something to you here. Someone wants to tell you all about things that they've hidden from you. Yeah, someone's going to tell you that they cheated. And that's why they walked away from you. It wasn't about you. Someone could be working on walking away from whoever this was that they left you for. Someone may have to be strategic about this. They're dealing with a witch, six of cups. Yeah, they're letting go of this person. Yeah, they're letting go of this person because this person could have trapped them with a child or a baby or someone just wants the chance to have a, a rebirth or to restart. Yep, so they're watching. This is the unbelievable series of events that are coming back around that this person wants to tell you here. I'm hearing about large and in charge with the emperor. Someone now wants to take control or take the wheel of their life here. What's the message? Okay, so we have face your fears. Release the power of fear. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the dove. So take a leap of faith here is what spirit is saying. Dragon, discover your courage. All right? So that's what I have here for your current messages, Virgo. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to also reach over to my other channel, which I recently created. It's going to be a lot of good content over there. And like I said, especially if you're into prophetic messages, like um, where I get spiritual downloads from spirit or source themselves, then... Be sure to go over and show me some love by supporting me and subscribing, telling your friends and family about it. It would be greatly appreciated. And once again, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.